as many as 300,000 people in the United States may have chronic Chagas disease, mostly spread by blood-sucking insects, health officials report. However, the first confirmed U.S. case of transmission from a mother to a newborn was recently documented, adding to ongoing concern about this parasitic disease, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Most people with Chagas disease in the United States are immigrants from areas in Latin America, where the disease is endemic, the report said. While Chagas is treatable and curable, it often goes unrecognized. Untreated, the infection is lifelong. Only a few people who are infected develop early symptoms, said a doctor and more, a CDC medical epidemiologist. The vast majority have such mild symptoms, or no symptoms, that they don't know they are infected. The parasite stays in the blood system and gradually causes disease in the tissues it affects, and the tissues it likes the most are heart muscle, Moore said. About 30% of those infected will develop serious cardiac disease, which can be fatal, she explained. Chagas is spread by teatomine insects, which can carry the parasite that causes the disease. People become infected when the bug feeds by sucking blood. The insects are also called kissing bugs because they tend to bite around the face, Moore said. While most people who have Chagas are from Latin America and Mexico, the insects that cause the disease are common across the lower southern, eastern, and western United States, according to the CDC. Whether the species of these bugs found in the United States carry this parasite isn't known, Moore said. We really don't have good information about whether there is a lot of transmission in the United States. There has been a handful of cases, but no one is looking, so we don't have an idea of the magnitude of the problem, she noted. Other but undiagnosed cases of mother-infant transmission have likely occurred in the United States, the report said. In other countries, the rate of congenital transmission from infected mothers is about 1% to 10%. Two anti-parasitic drugs can be used to treat Chagas. Neither one is approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, but they are available free from the CDC, Moore said. No manufacturer has applied for approval for the drug because there are only a few cases of Chagas in the United States, she noted. Moore believes people from Latin America, especially pregnant women, should be screened for Chagas, particularly those who have lived in rural areas. Many doctors don't know about the disease, so they don't look for it in these patients, she added. Chagas can also be spread through blood transfusion and organ transplants. In 2006, the American Red Cross began screening blood donors for Chagas, more noted. Chagas can be acquired through food contamination with the parasite. Dr. Mark Siegel, an infectious disease expert, said that Chagas disease is a reminder to us that we are part of a worldwide community of health. Chagas affects about 10 million people around the world, said Siegel, an associated professor of medicine at NYU Langone Medical Center in New York City. With all of the immigrants we have, Chagas has become more of a problem because it can be transmitted from the mother to child or through blood transfusion. But not just through an insect, Siegel said.